What's up, YouTube family? I don't know how this is going to work today. I just want to show off my outfit for clothes today. Hey! I miss you guys. And um, I have an interview that I'm getting ready for. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and post real quick. It's so crazy that when I first started this channel, I was starting my own daycare. Um, and it's been a year now. Not that one crazy girl. Always when you think you look the flies. <clears throat> Anyways, um, just wanted to post real quick. You know, we go through life, and I get on here and I talk to you guys all the time about this. Not giving up, stay pushing, um, living the life that God intended for you, pretty much. And um, we do that because that's our job. We do that because that's the life that we know makes God the happiest. And yes, I really am sitting here eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich right now because I'm trying to get my belly <sighs> full because I got to go to my other job. But so what? I'm getting on here to tell you guys that the post I made a few days ago about not giving up. Um, not giving up. Just not giving up. Not giving up. Not giving up. It's so important, and I didn't want to get on here and be embarrassed or feel that I had failed myself or my daycare or any of the other dreams that I have set forth to attack um, because sometimes it's just not the right time. And um, as I sit here and I prepare to go back into the work, the work field, I'm not embarrassed. I um, thought that I was going to be shamed. Um, with myself and feel like I had let myself down but the thing that God just showed me today and I just want to share it I never perfected any of my other jobs because I was always so caught up in trying to be an entrepreneur and do my own thing I never understood that your foundation is where you you know take yourself if you lay the foundation right then everything else that comes after you kind of can't go wrong with it and I went wrong I went wrong because of the simple fact that I should have committed to a job. I should have gave those jobs my all, which I did. Trust me, I did. I've been the star employee. I can get a job like nobody's business. But it's maintaining the God daggone job. That's the key. God gives you a beautiful house. I have a beautiful home. I have to fucking maintain it. I have to put my mind in gear to maintain everything that God has established for me to have. And I think, you guys, that the revelation from him today is you can't perfect the daycare until you perfect simplicity of commitment with jobs. I'm a very loyal person. I am dedicated to whomever and whatever I set out to do in life. However, I also have a problem with thinking that I run my own show and God runs my own show. And while I'm up here trying to beat myself up and feel like, oh my God, I've let myself down. The daycare didn't work. I don't understand what I did wrong. Blah, 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 blah. And having this pity party. The reality is I've got to go out here and perfect a job. A regular nine to five, seven to three, what the freak ever. And hustle like I always have. I'll maintain three jobs at one time because I'm a single mother. I'm always, you know, taking care of the kids. They need things. There's bills to be paid. I'm always trying to keep us in a really good um, neighborhood. So rent's always higher. And, you know, you have all those things that play into it. But I just wanted to share with you guys. So what? That's what it's all about. I told you guys, we're like the guinea pigs of the Lord. And we're out here to try it all out and figure out what works and what doesn't. But... I have no problem getting on here and admitting that I've got to commit first. I can have all my dreams and aspirations when I get off this clock. But until I show God that I can commit and I can prosper with these jobs and take people's criticism in a very good way and not get offended so easily and all of those things, how the hell am I going to come out here and run my own business? I did my cleaning and organizing business for almost 16 years of my life, but it was off and on, and I was always maintaining a job in the midst of it. I'm trying out the daycare because it's something I've wanted to do since I was nine years old, but it's not the time right now. It's not the time. I wasn't um, advertising to the right parents, the right 
uh, children for that matter because then the parents would be jacked up and I would love the kids and then I can't keep the kids because the parents are jacked up. Like It was always just something um, to show me that it's not time. That it's just not time. So I say that to get on here and as always encourage the hell out of you all encourage you to never give up encourage you that so what if you're meant to be your own boss and you know you're meant to be your own boss you got to perfect how you started first that is key and i am proud of myself today i needed to say it out loud because at first i was feeling like a straight up failure what the hell do you do when you set out to have your own business and shit don't work out and you got to go back to square one and you got bills to maintain and kids to maintain and life is going on and the car breaks down and like everything everything i thank god for the angels i have in my life please know i thank god for each and every one of you however mommy gotta drive this ship me and god we gotta make this work i have to know that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i have to if i don't no business that i attack on my own will ever freaking work out it just won't I will fail every time. Thank God that God is my foundation. So he's able to talk to me and I can hear him and I know, oh shoot, I'm messing up. Let me go correct this. But if I didn't have God and I was job hopping and thinking, oh, I'm about to run my own business and blah, blah, blah. I would never get to the root of why things kept not working out for me. And I just feel amazing today. Um, he just spoke it to me just a couple of seconds ago. I was upstairs getting ready for my next interview. And... Um, it's just so beautiful. It's just so freaking beautiful. I love God. Donald Trump and any other future president and government affiliation, association, blah, 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 will never be able to make me microchip myself or give myself away to another God besides our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Thank you to the world for allowing me to get on here and share. Thank you for the YouTube creators. Um, but most importantly, thank you for God who made the YouTube creator and God who made everybody that has to do with what I have going on today. I love new beginnings and I don't run from them and I don't run from self change and self improvement. And I will check myself in a heartbeat and not just check myself and talk about it, I will be about it. And that's what I intend to do today. I started my one job, I'm going to another. Um, I got myself PCA certified so I can have that to fall back on. I cook my ass off, y'all see me with the paleo. Like, I'm a hustler. I'm a go-getter, I'm a hustler, and I'm not gonna sit here and do the definition of insanity, which is keep trying to do that same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. I'm just not gonna do it. I am so proud of everybody who has decided to get on my, my channel and take heed to what I've said and the advice that I've given and my testimonies that I've shared. Together we could be freaking dynamite. And um, I'm proud of me today. And I'm proud to be God's daughter. And I am proud and so grateful that I was chosen because I know the struggles and the things that I have had to go through in my life will only lead me to be that much more great. And I am going to attack these jobs and give my all and report to you all and let you all know what's going on because without this foundation there will never truly be a 24 hours of smiles there will never truly be a Danielle of all trades there will never be any futuristic book that I write or anything happen in my life if I cannot learn how to commit in a totally different mannerism in a totally different light of life I thank you guys so much each and every one of you I pray for on a day-to-day -day basis, on a second-to-second -second basis for the world in, its, in itself, in its entirety. I wish I could change it, but I can't. It's not my job. It's God's job. I just can only change me. I can't even change my children. I thank you every time you listen to me, every time you click on me, and I know that you all are learning, and that makes me so happy. Have a blessed day and attack anything that you want with your whole heart today. Peace and love. Thank you guys.